Well, hello everybody and welcome to a new series. No, that's not me breathing heavy. Very cool. Alright guys, this is a brand new series for me and a brand new game. I believe it was only released on itch.io uh, just a few days ago, the little demo version. I was given a little bit more of early access to it. And uh, what it is is a solo, solo player uh, card game, and uh, that's pretty much all I know. Frost itself is um, a big storm that has gone through, and it consistently chases people throughout the world, and it's about survival. So we're gonna do the tutorial part on, of this on the first, on the first episode, and then based on the response that I get from you guys. We're going to continue on with this. So Frost is a deck management game. Okay. You start with a limited set of resource cards. So see, fatigue, food, material, material, survivor. So it's kind of like your um, sandbox and voxel game, but you're not going to be doing the actual walking around and such like that. You're going to be doing it via cards. So the goal of the game is to reach the refuge, refuge, sorry, by traveling through various regions. So region, river, one, two, and one. Use resource cards on the region card to fulfill the requirements. Click your resources and click the region card. So what we're gonna do, uh, we pick what? One food. Oh, okay, up there. And do that, and a survivor. Fulfilling the region requirements allows you to travel. Travel now. So now we are in distance left is eight. Frost is a lethal storm that's always behind you. Every time you end your turn without traveling, the frost gets closer and you de decrement, decrement the frost counter right there. Okay. Every time you travel, you outdistance the frost and add one to the frost counter. Very good to know. In a normal game, you lose when the frost counter reaches zero. In this tutorial, you won't. You're good, man. It's all good. Scavenging is a basic action that uses one survivor card to add a card to your current hand. Try it by clicking the survivor and then the highlighted button. So, survivor. Uh, okay. Scavenging is the simplest way to find survivors, food, and material, but you risk drawing a fatigue card, or worse, your survivor dies. Try to use what you learn to travel through a couple of regions now. Okay, so what we need to get through this is the two food, uh, and we don't need any resources and any survivors, so we can do one there, one there. We got the fatigue card, though. So now we're going to travel because we can and increase our distance as well. So we have three survivor and two fatigue cards. Uh, try to travel. Okay. So we have the two survivor. So if we go one there, one there, uh, and you know what? We'll send you out scavenging. We have the food, and then we end our turn, and now you can see right there, Frost is now at a 7. Okay, so we got our extra right there, and we can now travel. Oh, ho, ho. The rest action allows you to remove all the fatigue cards of your hand. No shit. Alright, so if I rest but... That there will probably take takes your whole turn, yep. Meaning that it is no longer available from the moment you use any of your cards. So in this case, I would probably do that and that, then rest, get rid of the three fatigue. Try to rest now. Oh, it takes all the cards that I have. Shit. Alright. So you draw an event card every time you travel. Events can be trades or contests. Mm-hmm. 
Trade events allow you to exchange what's indicated on the left side for what's indicated on the right side. Try to travel another couple of times. All right, so we need a uh, survivor. I'll keep the old guy. Go there and survivor, you scavenge. We don't need that. There we go. Have another food. You go out and scavenge and give us more food. Now we can travel. So trade events, yeah, it's the same thing. We can trade a person for two of those. Oh damn. Yeah, we have a bit of an issue here. Cause see, we don't have any survivors. Now we do. We need to get rid of the old guy. There, so now we got two of those. Do that. And travel again. A wolf. Wolf is a contest type event, meaning that if you don't beat it, it will apply its damage when you travel. When you travel, I assume. Right now, there's nothing you can do about it, so just travel. Uh, okay, so we send out. But now, I have to end my turn. Frost is getting closer. Uh, nope. Damn. Okay, now we can travel. And see, I got my, f oh, I didn't even see this dude over here. That must be me. Look at how pretty I am. I got awesome little beard. Damage makes you lose a health point or sacrifice a survivor. You die when you have zero health points. Uh, lose your health point by clicking on the blood drop icon now. Ah, sounded like that really hurt. Another wolf here, still nothing you can do about it. So let's travel. Okay, so we have one of these, one of these. I'd like to do this. Oh, that only gives us another one of those. So if we end our turn. Okay, now we can do that. And we're gonna take another damage. No, I can't do that yet. You can also sacrifice the survivor with damage. Try it. Oh, he did. <laughs> I don't like the guy anyway, he's a bit of a douche. Uh, see, what do we do here? Like we could, oh, well, you draw, you draw a new set of two idea cards when you travel and you add one every turn you spend in a region. Idea cards are cards that can be added to your deck by paying their price. Try to acquire an idea card now. The cost of an idea is displayed by the icons on this top right corner. Here it is barred, meaning your resource will be removed. Okay, so we can get a idea or a spear and we have to give it one of those. So if we take that guy and we go right here, we lose that, but we gain this. And now we can use this weapon to eliminate the wolf. Oh man, this is actually pretty awesome. So if we go here, we go here, and then we go here. Um, we could try to rest. It would only get rid of that and it wouldn't really affect us. Guess we can't. All right, let's end the turn. Frost is getting closer though. Travel again. Nice little footprint there. Some idea cards have two possible effects: basic effect on top, activated effect on the bottom. Try to zoom on an av available idea card by right-clicking it. Oh no shit! Draw X cards. Draw X cards from your deck. Okay. Cost to pay to add this to your card hand. Barred resources will be removed from your deck, so with the little line on it. Activation cost, the cost for activating the card. Barred resources will be removed from your deck. 
So it costs us a piece of wood, but it doesn't take it from us because there's no line. And then the activation effect, you trigger this, trigger this effect by paying the activation cost. So three cards, I'm assuming. Draw X cards. It takes X cards from your deck. Okay. So supplies would take two apples and a card from us. And we have to trade four cards for it, I think. And this gives us four fire see we would have to take this one here removes that and gives us fire this one here see uh -huh. you'll remove this card so if I take To use an activated activated effect of a card by clicking on the bottom of the card and you use the basic effect by clicking on the top of the card. Okay. Try to buy an idea and use this activated effect. Note the difference between when you remove a resource, it quits your deck. And using it, it stays in your deck. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So we do yeah I can't do that one because see that would be that there it takes it out but we're part way we've got one already done uh, with this one here You now have the basic knowledge needed to play Frost. You can find additional instructions in the options screen. Press escape or click the question mark button. You can try to finish this game or start a new one by going back to the main menu in the options screen. Good luck. Well, I'll tell you what guys, we will, what was that? Oh, I didn't even know we... Okay, so these are like the ideas and stuff that we have actually uh, uh, acquired, I would assume. Okay, so for us to continue on, we can get supplies if we were to move that up here. So we got that and got rid of that. That gives us more. Uh -huh, okay, now I'm getting the hang of this. So we get this guy. Let's put this little lady over here. We're going to take a little bit of damage because we have to uh, fight the wolves, but it's okay. Let's see there. Oh, oh, man, that hurt. So this one here, we have enough to do so. Uh, this here would be this guy. No? Okay. So it would be this one. There. So now if we were to use that... I want to use and put that on there. That gets rid of the wolf. That gives that and that. And I can't rest. So we're going to end our turn. Ooh, six. So we're not doing too bad. Uh, yep, move one of those guys there. See, we could search for another survivor, but... I think this might be the better thing to do. Um, yeah, let's end our turn here. Ooh, we have the spear, which is nice to have. It's gonna take one more of these guys. We can travel again. There's another wolf, but we don't have the damn uh, egg guy or whatever the hell it was called. Let's see, this here, we do, that would take all the cards. This one here takes all the cards. See, I'm not entirely sure what that one does there. So there. That. Yeah. And we take that. We kill off the wolf. And we'll put one of those there. Send you on an excursion. And you on an excursion. Damn it! And we'll end our turn. Ooh, no. There we go. And... Trade that off. 
turn that off. There we go. I think that I did that wrong. I probably should have waited till this round to be able to use it. Yeah, because you can. Yeah, I should have. Um, let's see if we rest, we get rid of all those, gain ourselves a couple more resources here. I could have used those on that, but can't use those on anything. I'm gonna have to end my turn. Ooh, but we got that, so that kills off the wolf. Uh, boy, oh boy, what do we do? Yeah, that doesn't help us with much of anything. Nope. Nope. There. Now we can go back up to four. We, we were getting a little close there. And there's another wolf. Send you there. You here. You there. Damn it. Huh. Down to a three. Ooh. Uh. Okay, wait. So if I take that and I do that, that's it. Okay, yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. This makes a lot more sense now. So now we can travel. Now, I'd like to see what this actually does when we get to refuge. I think that would be pretty cool to see. Okay, we're gonna send you out there. You over here. Put you up here. Send you over there. You over there. You up there. And their turn. Oh no. You go there. You go there. And get out of here. Increase that lead. Okay, so we send these two guys off to here. Ooh, down to three again. Now, see, we have a campsite. We can trade a survivor and gather ourselves two pieces of wood, uh, which I don't think. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so it just gives us two pieces of wood, which really doesn't help us in this, this instant, but because we're going to lose that unless this comes back. Like, um, no. Move down here. Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, well, I tried, I tried, I really did. See, if we had that, we could get survivors. But we don't have any freaking survivors. So we end our turn. Now we do. But we need those. So, see, we don't need that guy. Put that in there, and that in there. And we travel again. Increase that lead. This one here, but we don't have the wolf. See. Damn, I was hoping that that would give us a, uh, a spear, but now this is going to take our health. Uh, uh. And there, we got the wolf. Get your ass out of here, you foo. Um, oh, I don't need that. Shit, I did that wrong. Oh, no. And I'm gonna send you for whatever reason. I'm not sure what the stock is. It didn't actually clarify what that was, but uh, I'm sure playing throughout the game we will find out. Ooh, I kind of want to see what it's like if I die. Congratulations, Cleaver, Asagai, 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 Asagai? Shelter, and uh, Wolf. No way. Alright guys, so this is the new series. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to put all the links in the down there. There is a demo for people to download as well. Uh, so I will continue on with this in the next episode. We will try the easy. And I'm assuming once you go through easy, they would do normal and difficult. I don't know. That's just me. But maybe that's all that's available right now is the easy. So let me know what you guys think of this. This is a very cool concept. Um, you know, it's a great way to be able to pass time. And I like the, the whole idea behind it that you're being chased by something, but it's not like, you know, uh, an actual being per se. And um, it's just one hell of a storm. And you got to get your ass as far away from it as you can. 
So guys, we will continue this off in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. And if you want to see different videos from different series every single day, make sure you hit that sub button too. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks.